What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Mighty of Toys video. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new WWE Elite Top Picks 2023 Wave 4 or 5 Cody Rhodes figure. I don't know which exactly Wave 4 or Wave 5. Who, who gives a hoot? You know what I'm saying? Who, who gives a damn what wave it is, Brad? We have a new Cody Rhodes here, and in this video, we're going to rank all of these Cody Rhodes figures. The only one I'm lacking is the Stardust Elite Chase from Elite Series 103. And if you guys are wondering, this is the new Top Picks wave, and in this Top Picks wave, we only have one brand new figure and that is this Cody Rhodes. The other two in the set are Matt Riddle and Rey Mysterio in which they are just the exact same figure we saw previously. You have the Elite 99 Matt Riddle in the red and then you have the Elite 88 Rey Mysterio. I think it's Elite 88 Rey Mysterio and maybe Elite 86. I can't remember. Nonetheless, you have Rey Mysterio and all that's different about that is pretty much a greatest hits figure. It's just double jointed arm. But today we do have the new top picks Cody Rhodes here and I wanted to make a video on it and I wanted to make it a little different because we're going to dive into the figure. We're going to compare all these figures. Then we're going to rank every Cody Rhodes that we have seen from Mattel so far in elite and ultimate form since he returned to the company, which is all these featured here. And again, I don't have the Chase Stardust, but something tells me, I, I don't know. I think I like this version better. I like the sleeveless look, even though I like the blue color on the Chase. I don't know where the Chase would fall here. Maybe I can tell you guys once we actually rank this set, but today we're looking at the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes top talents. I want to look at this color, solve the mystery of the color, Look at the head sculpts, get all the different things going on. But here we go, man. Front viewing window there, you guys can see. It's very weird, because on camera, it looks like it's, what, gray or silver? But then when I look at it in person, it's clearly... You know what it reminds me of, man? It reminds me of the Dallas Cowboys seafoam pants a little bit. A little bit of that color going on there, where it kind of plays tricks on you. It could be, like, four different colors, depending on the lighting. And then you have, like, this light gold and navy color. It looks really good, but they just seem to... They just can't seem to get Cody Rhodes tights colors accurately apparently but uh, here's the ultimate edition Cody Rhodes yours should be shipping check your emails but here is Cody Rhodes here and then you have him on the side and then there's the rest of the figures in the wave Ray Mysterio Matt Riddle Cody Rhodes there he is can't wait for more and with San Diego Comic-Con on the on the horizon we can literally see it from here surely we're gonna get more Cody Rhodes I imagine we're gonna get a mainline ultimate and I imagine that that new ultimate probably will be better than this maybe it'll be in the Royal Rumble gear or maybe yeah, I don't know if it'll be in the Royal rumble gear but nonetheless man let's crack this top talents cody out of the packaging find out what he's about and take a closer look at it i meant to slam him i don't know what happened all right, man, so here's Cody Rhodes out of his packaging, and I know he's not on the rotating base, all right? I feel like we change it up a little bit just because we're looking at one figure. It's kind of a different kind of review here. We got a little bit of a, you know, it's kind of an important scenario or a unique situation that we have going on here. So here is the Cody Rhodes figure, and I, I like that it's different, you know? I feel like our other elite Cody's that we've seen so far, they both had that royal blue color. So now that we have, like, this lighter grayish, now with this one, we have this, like, lightish blue. It's light blue, man. When I see this and I get down in there it's like a very very light blue like a gray blue or blue gray whatever you want to say i might just go by the bay and eat some hay what do you say i just may but i'm liking the aesthetic of the figure you know you can get cody Rhodes in here and again we are going to rank these at the end here and i i like it, it can i even include the stardust figure i'm going to and i don't have the basics either i think there is a basic of this figure that's starting to hit retail or it's about to hit retail and this looks significantly different that one's more of like a gray this is like a silverish blue light blue very difficult to tell on camera and again depending on the lighting you get is going to change the color of the figure but aesthetically this figure looks exactly the same as the rest of them they're clearly repaints and it bothers me because this head sculpt is supposed to be as good as the defining moments but it looks like they've like printed all of their eyes slightly off looking to the left so if you guys get in here and look at this the Defining Moments is looking straight ahead, and this one is looking off to the left a little bit. I think the Defining Moments looks the best out of the three head sculpts we've seen so far on these Cody Rhodes figures. This is all the exact same head sculpt. Their hair color actually does look to be about the same. I was afraid in the promo shots that the new top picks on the far right looked like the hair was more yellow, but it is looking better here. But you guys can see the eyes are repainted a different color. And these are supposedly all the same head sculpt. But for me, I feel like the Defining Moments and the Top Talents are the same head sculpt. And they're slightly different than the Elite 101 that we're seeing over here. So, like, even just that likeness from the side. I feel like this has, like, more wrinkles or something sculpted on it. Even though, apparently, they are the same head sculpt. Which is very crazy. You guys can see the neck tattoos still not accurate. I've covered that at nauseum. It's that they do not print it accurately. Even on the Ultimate Edition, it's wrong. They 
print it way too close to the ear. It's supposed to have a big gap in there, or it's supposed to have a nice size gap between the ear and the tattoo. But to me, the Defining Moments clears in terms of head sculpt. I just think that it has the best deco, it has the best sculpt, it has the best paint apps. And whether they're the same head sculpt or not, the Defining Moments looks better for whatever reason you want to say. Now, getting into the figure itself, starting out at the head sculpt again, it is clearly looking off to the left. It looks very weird. I do not like it. I, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to have to interchange some head sculpts. I have more Ultimate Editions coming. I'm definitely going to head swap this on surgery or something like that, but same torso. I like that they include some chest hair in there. You got the dream tattoo. Got the neck tattoo of course, which is not right, which we just discussed. And then he does not have the little thin wrist tape here on over here. Like on his, his ultimate edition has the same thing. You guys can see there. It doesn't have any white tape whatsoever, but then on his Defining Moments and Elite 101, he does have like a thin he has like the thin white wrist tape and then on the Defining Moments, he actually has the white peg, and then on the Elite 101, he doesn't have the white peg so there are like a bunch of differences that you're seeing here which is just a change of interchangeable hand like I'm sure we've seen enough interchangeable hands for you to fix that but he doesn't have the white wrist tape and then here's the tights man and you guys can make your assumptions down in the comment section below I'm telling you on camera it's coming off a lot more silver slash gray and then in person it's clearly like that cowboy seafoam bluish color from their pants with their white uniforms so that is what I'm getting there and then you do have the light goldish yellow with the navy and the different deco again it's just a repaint but I, I enjoy Cody figures and I love Cody Rhodes and his figures and then you have the standard white boots like we have seen these parts I'm ready to get some new attires in here some new sculpts things like that I wish that all three of these figures had the defining moments head sculpt because I think that it would really add to it and give it a lot of likeness and it, there'd be a bonus to having all these figures because I truly think that defining moment Cody head sculpt is the best head sculpt we've seen even though I like the smiling one I like the yelling one that we're getting on his ultimates I still think the straight pissed off Cody looks just like him and I think it's one of the better head sculpts you'll see from Mattel but there is the figure itself now as far as accessories you get the same damn weight belt that we've seen a hundred times inaccurate weight belts the white with the nightmare we've seen a hundred times I don't really care for it and then you get the like throne sitting whoa entrance hands and then you get mic holding and fisted hands and of course you do have your respected right taped hand and then the left hand is completely tapeless or whatever you want to say but then for your Cody Rhodes Elite figure comparisons, you do have the Elite 101, the Defining Moments, the new top picks. We have the Ultimate Edition, which is clearly too tall, man. Like, look how damn tall that made him. Look at that right there, which I guess I guess you could argue that the, the, the Ultimate Edition is actually accurate, and the uh, all these other Elites are a little bit too short, but I think they get the job done either one you want to use. I think they should personally use the Rick Rude slash Seth Rollins Ultimate Torso on this guy. I just think it would do him justice, and it would probably make him a little bit shorter, and I think somebody should do that fix-up. I think when they give us the new Ultimate Cody, they're not going to change it. At least I wouldn't expect them to change it but it would be a nice addition to see them try this torso especially when you're looking at like this ripped up Cody back here with the Finn Balor and the Seth Rollins elite torso when we get a new ultimate edition Finn Balor he's gonna have that Rick Rude torso he's gonna have his elite is gonna have the same Finn Balor torso so I'd like to see it be consistent across the board if Seth Rollins uses this torso for his elites and Finn Balor uses this torso for his elites, wouldn't it make the most sense for the, all of their elite torsos to transition to the same similar ultimate torso? Or am I out of my damn mind? You let me know down in the comment section below. But now let's get to the point where let's rank these figures from worst to best. In my personal opinion, we're going to go ahead and pull these back right here. And I enjoy all of these in their own different ways. But starting out at the bottom of our ranking, and this is kind of sickening. I'm going with the Stardust Elite figure. I don't really feel that it's comparable. He looks so much better with those new boots on it. If you guys missed it, go check out Action Figure Surgery. That Those are the accurate boots that he should have. The laceless boots. Looks way better and more accurate, but not really comparable, to be honest with you, with Stardust and Cody. And, like, they're completely different and completely different looks. But next up on my list, I am going with the Elite 101 figure. Very tough because that's one of my favorite figures this year, which is completely crazy. I just think the deco and the head sculpt's a little bit off, but I still really, really enjoy that Cody figure, man. All these figures could have an... We've gotten all of these Elites and Ultimates this year. 
So that's crazy. On the same year we have seen these, and they're going to be featured in our countdown, so they're going to be eligible for our countdowns. But next up on the list, I am going with the new Elite Top Talents. I think that it's a solid figure. I like the tights and everything like that, but it's very close between these two. I think the head sculpt has a little bit more lightness on the new one, even though the eyes aren't completely straightforward, which pisses me off. But I feel like, but I don't know. I, I like the eye color and stuff like that. And then at number two, we have the Ultimate Edition. I just think, like, yeah, with a lot of people, I think aesthetically, with the tights not being the right color and the and making them too tall and stuff like that, I can't really put them any higher. Honestly, these three middle ones are pretty interchangeable. On some days, I think these are better. On some days, I feel like the Ultimate's better. And then last but not least, my personal favorite is the Defining Moments Cody Rhodes. I love the moment in time. I think once we, like, I like this gear the most. I love this head sculpt the most. It's got the white peg. It's just better, man. This is the best Elite Cody Rhodes we've seen so far. And as a moment in time, I am going to get another one of these and do this regular torso without the torn peck. We've discussed that since we saw this figure at Mania. Going to put that torso over here, and it's going to be a nice damn day when we get to do that. So that will be awesome. And really, all you have to do is switch the upper torso. You don't even have to pop off the bottom torso. Just switch the upper torso, switch the arms and shoulders, and you're cooking with the oil there but so here are the original incarnations of the top picks wave right here man you have matt riddle and you have ray mysterio and this is obviously the elite 99 and you have the ray mysterio except it's featured with double jointed arms which we see on all the modern ray mysterio so that's all you get in the new top picks wave man you pretty much are looking at just a cody rhodes elite figure and that is why in this video we're only showcasing our old versions because they're the exact same figures i don't even own the top picks wave five figures yet i don't even know if i'll grab them you know I don't know if I'm going to grab them, which is interesting. I don't know what the going value is for the Elite 99 and the and the Rey Mysterio here, but I feel like we just got the Elite 99 Matt Riddle. It should be on retail shelves or hitting retail shelves already. I feel like if you went back and did the white Matt Riddle, the white and gold with the jacket, and just added the double-jointed arms, because that figure had Kalisto arms, for the love of God. That would have been a much better addition, and I think it would have been more sought after, but who am I, you know? Maybe I'm completely wrong, but this is all you get out of these figures. They're, they're just re-releases, man. And so this is all you're getting. You're getting the nice blue gear, and then you're getting the red and gold, which uh, I like the Elite 99 Matt Riddle a whole lot. I wasn't a big fan of this figure because he has the eye missing, and they did the eye missing again. It's literally like, th that. that's... Are people going to look at that Ray Mysterio on the shelf and then go, huh, his eye's missing. Like, that's not his character in 2023. So I just find that a bit odd that they did that. That pretty much wraps up our Top Talents Cody Rhodes action figure review and ranking all of our Cody Rhodes figures that we have seen thus far. Now, before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. You guys are the absolute best. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, click the link in the description below. Get in on some cool perks. But that is going to wrap up my review of the Top Talents Cody Rhodes, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know what you think down in the comment section below of this Cody Rhodes, but I am wrapping this video up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. We'll never back down. Let's